Hello guys, it's username Kate and welcome back to the Cotswold Adventures with my good sister Hannah Ralph. Now there is a part one to this video so if you want to check that out I'll pop the link up above right there. So a little bit of a backstory, me and my sister stayed at the Seagrave Arms at the Cotswolds and after our stay there it was time to travel to the second hotel which is Dormy House. Now Dormy House as you'll probably see in a few moments is up quite a steep hill and being on a 125 with not much pull, couldn't pull the skin off a rice pudding, I decided that I was going to do a bag run first. So I strapped Hannah's bag to the bike and I'm wearing a rucksack, but something didn't quite feel right. Spider senses were tingling, so I pulled over, and I was quite right to do that because just look at that. It's literally hanging off onto the exhaust. <laughs> Not good, especially as Hannah had her work laptop in there. So I thought I'd try and fix it on, but obviously because it has such an expensive item in, I got a little bit of paranoia. So I just checked to see how far away I was. Three minutes. Ah, I thought I'll just wear her bag. So that eliminates the problem of it almost falling off. So that's what I set out to do. Take the straps off, the very poorly put on straps. And sling it over my shoulder and wear it like a rucksack. So as I do that, there's a lot of weight on my back. But needs must. It looks a bit funny. It's kind of hanging off to the side of me, but hey ho, that's life. And then I just gotta wait till it's clear, and then I'll set off to Dormy House again. So after this, I head off, turn right, full power <laughs> as best I can, and Dormy House is literally right here. So I arrive back into the space, didn't die, jobs a carrot, and now it's time to get Hannah. Okay, pegs are out. Right, when you're ready, Hannah. Do you see how much that sags? It's so bad. Are you feet on the pegs? Okay. Just go slow. People will just have to deal with how slow we're going. Avoid the grids. Ready? This hill, hold me tight. This hill was uh, what I had to. Come on, you can pull us. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Continue for one mile. A big hill. Got it in third gear. Hopefully, we won't have to drop down. There's lots of leaves on here. A nice grid. Drop a gear. Lots of leaves. So we will take it slow. Leg out just for a bit of stability. Because we've got none. Third gear, it's doing all right. 24 miles an hour. Come on, baby. Get up the hill. Gonna drop a gear, I think. Bit more pull. And now go into third. Now we've got some momentum, but it drops off pretty quick. I'm gonna drop it down again. <laughs> Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Hannah, this is where your bag nearly fell off! 
Look, yeah, do you see all that blue stuff on the floor that like glows? That's diesel or oil, that's not what you want to hit. So like when you're a biker, you've got to really be careful of, oh, one sec. You've got to really be careful of those. You've got to be careful of leaves. You've got to be careful of grids. Like everything is so important. So that's why I'm taking it nice and easy. I'll take it nice and slow as we're coming up to this give way. But we're turning right up on the back brake. The next right to stay on Cotswold Way. On the back brake a little bit. There we go. Come to a stop fully so I can see if it's clear, which it is for days. We like this. This is what we want. No pressure on the slow mobile. I think we're doing all right. We're doing all right. 42 mile an hour, we're doing all right here. But we have got a sharp turn coming up, so we'll reduce the speed now. Got to keep left, probably drop a gear. And we'll just pootle round it. No prizes for going round it, breakneck speed. If anything happens to this one on the back, mum and dad will absolutely have my guts for garters. So, got to behave. It's actually quite a nice bonding experience, to be fair. Put the indicator on nice and early, I think. Drop down. Go. Draw me house! Whoop whoop! We made it! <laughs> yeah boy! Do 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 destination is on the left. Do 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 your destination is on the left. Ba 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 Right Hannah, I don't know if you wanna jump off. Thank you for being an excellent passenger. A wonderful one. Didn't even know you were there. Right, mum and dad, please forgive me. Needs must. Needs must in a situation like this. Right. So wait, what time is it? Uh, 20 to 12. 20 to 12. So what, what do you want to do? I don't know, it's up to you really. Chill out here for a little bit. Yeah, just have like a coffee and stuff yeah, until dinner. So guys, we've just arrived at Dormy House and it is more of a hotel experience than the Seagrave Arms. That was more restaurant with rooms. This is more hotel -y. So we've just sat down in the waiting area. Hannah is in one piece. Hannah is in one piece. Hannah's got the book. Oh, have you? Right, Hannah, so tell me, how was the ride? Life on... is sweet. <laughs> and the ride, okay, so you were telling me that the roads weren't very good. Yeah. Because there was diesel on the road? Yeah. Um, it was, it was a little, it was, um... Slow? <laughs> you can was, say slow. It was a bit of a panna cotta, it had a bit of a wiggle about it. <laughs> Bit of a wobble. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> but hey, I loved it. I just sit on the back. I trust you implicitly, literally, with my life, and I have a good time. Oh, thanks, babe. And I just have a good little time on the back. I just mind my own business. I don't cause any problems. You are a very good pillion, you know. I'm a very good pillion because I just don't pretend not to exist. <laughs> So the thing is, right, if you were to go on the back of Dad, say, he would advise you to lean with him, and I would normally on a normal bike, mm -hmm. but because it's a 125 and it's got no weight to it, any little movement that you do royally upsets and destabilises it, so I just needed you to sit there like a cactus. I would never move, I would never think about doing that. And you did great. But I was still absorbing the Cotswolds. Yes. Lots of cute countryside. 
Lots of gorgeous little cottages. I'm glad you was taking it so in. I was absorbing. Because being a statue. Yeah, because if you're taking in the scenery, it means you're not like frozen in fear, which means I've achieved my job. I was not frozen in fear. I was just frozen in cold. <laughs> We're sat in one of the, um, we're sort of sat in the spa lobby actually. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of pick. Yeah, so I'm going to stand up. So this is the area we've chosen because Hannah loves a little armchair moment. She's literally old before her time. She just needs it to rock and she's, she's all good. But it's just beautiful. There's loads of plants here. I'm a crazy plant woman. The place is just stunning. Just real nice vibes. We almost went in here because this is kind of more my thing, cozy corner. Lots of plants surrounding you. But Hannah does love an armchair moment. And yeah, they've got a cheese plant and it is so much healthier than my own cheese plants at home. So this makes me sad, but also happy to see them healthy. <laughs> Well guys, we've just been taken to our room at Dormy House. So Hannah and I are staying in the attic. So we've got a nice little bench there, which is great for all the bike gear. Just dump it and leave it down here. But the attic, so we go up these stairs. We've got a big old mirror, but just look at this guy. Wow, it's so warm, it's so cosy, it's really spacious, we've got a little chair area, if we go into the bathroom, it's super huge, dual showers, I feel like it's an episode of Cribs. And then a humongous bathtub as well. The light fittings are just beautiful. Let's have a look at the wallpaper and the bed. Oh, in fact, first we've got some bubbly bubbly. Bubbly bubbly. Bubbly bubbly. bubbly. <laughs> and it's just. Like, I love how this matches the wallpaper. Yeah, like, like that. Imprint. That is a bougie touch. It's so nice. I can't actually cope with how beautiful this room is. So, yeah, this is our room for the night. I mean, I know we've got lunch in like 25 minutes. I'm still full up for breakfast. I know. It was a, it was a lot. Oh, what have we got in here? Our bloody robes. Bloody robes. So apparently, what did they say, Hannah, is the norm here? She said that in the spa you can obviously wear your robes, but she said, feel free to wear your robes around the hotel. Just oh. very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I love how it says, hey, I'm Matt. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, the fire is so nice. Sorry, I just want to have a peek through here. So we'll be having breakfast on our evening meal in here. It's just so relaxing and peaceful. So we're in the shed. We're in the shed, and it doesn't look anything like a shed. It doesn't look like a bloody shed, does it? It looks gorgeous. Anna, this looks so good. Chicken wing, chicken wing, chicken wing, chicken wing. Would you like me to take a photo of both of you? What do you think? Pop that bubbly, bish. Pop the bubbly, pop the bubbly. Pop it. Pop it, pop it. Gotta shake it up first, Hannah. Let's blow a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Did 
Do it. I genuinely can't do it. Why? I'm too bad. Just do it. No, I, phys I physically can't do it. How are you even get it out? Exactly. Apparently you have to just face it away from your face. Oh, okay. That's a good, good, good idea. Thank Oh. It's pressure. Yeah. Yeah, boy. There you go, my queen. Just for you. Well, how difficult to judge. <laughs> We're just about to go to the spa. We're in our robes. Who are we? This is posh life for us. Is it very empowering? Something's so crazy about just walking around It feels so wrong. What are we doing? It feels so wrong, but it kind of feels so great. This is a slot. Yeah. Sure. Wow. Yeah. 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 Ye
chicken. Right, Hannah, we're going to get your helmeted and gloved up and drop you off at the train station. In fact, no, we're going to stop off at Chipping. Chipping Camden? Yeah, just for a quick look around the iconic market place. The 1700s streets. Mm. I need your glasses. Wait, let me take your glasses. You always do this. I was joking. <laughs> you was joking. Yeah, right, go on, let's see, see if you've mastered this. Onto my face. Yeah, because I'm an extra small. Fat head. And you're like a medium. You got this girl. Oh my god. Gangster! I love that! Right now you gotta fasten it though. Oh shit, I'm trapped. <laughs> Wait, okay. I'll fasten it for you. Hang on. Oh I just put it across my shoulder. Hang on. Wait, 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 no, here. Ah, like that. Hey, <laughs> look! Ready for war with your umbrella sticking out the back. It's quite. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're gonna javelin someone with it. Yeah. Okay, babe, try it. Is that okay? I mean, don't wiggle like that else we will fall. Are you okay, Hannah? Which way do we go from here? Oh, I'm the one with the sat nav. Head south on Buckle Street. Head south, brilliant. I'm not sure where south is. <laughs> a quarter of a mile, turn right in Camden Lane. Yes, we're on the right track. Bye, Dormy House. 200 yards, turn left. Thankfully, we can see there's nothing coming. We can go, go, go. So guys, we're nipping to Chipping Camden, I think that's how you pronounce it. Apparently it's quite a historical town, Hannah wants some photos, so we'll get it done for her. Hey hey, Chipping Camden, woohoo! Well Hannah, this is it, apparently. This is Chipping Camden. So look at that house. Let's go here. Do you want to hop off, babe? It's quite hard when you can't see what you're doing. Okay. Do you need my help or you got this? Amazing. Oh, what's this? Chipping Camden is quintessential English town in the North Cotswolds with an elegant high street. The town is ideal base for walking in some of the most beautiful parts of the Cotswolds, being at the start or end of the Cotswolds way. Interesting. <laughs> Wow, look at them rugs! <laughs> How does it feel, Hannah, getting waves by the biking fraternity? Every biker that has gone past us today makes me feel like I am the president of the United States. This is only how I can imagine that the presidents have felt. Why? Because of the power? The power, the glory, the fame, <laughs> the appreciation, if anything, I've put a lot of hard work. <laughs> Sitting on 
on the back of that van. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Hannah. That is cool. Fuck. Oh my god, yeah. you've done it yourself. Well done. Put the little breath guard in. Jobs are good in it. Oh, he's fastening it. Sorry, babe. See, you could have forgotten about fastening it, but you didn't. And you told me. Because I had forgotten. Yeah, double D rings when you're not used to them are not the easiest things to fasten. Right. Let's go. I'm <laughs> sat on the tank. Take the next right onto Church Street. Off we go. Oh, we see all that diesel on the floor then. Disgusting. Right, we're going to stop. We've got a nice, nice run up to pick up some speed. There's nothing behind us. Oh. Change gear, tighten the GoPro, check the mirrors, dead thing, another dead thing. Oh my god, it's like dead thing slalom. <laughs> How you pass your test in the Cotswolds. here Woohoo How was that babe? Was that okay? Oh, hold on. oh you need to undo it so push this through so find the loop and pull on it the fabric yep and then pull it out this oh my god you're like a pro I mean, you're definitely going to get a migraine after this, but appreciate the effort. <laughs> That's 49. Perfect time. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, big hug. Thank you so much for trusting me. I love you, babe. I just love you. <laughs> I love you more. Right, well, safe journey back. Have I got anything of yours? No. No, and if there is, it's fine. I'll come back. Okay. We'll and don't forget to take that tag off when you're ready. You stay at a service station at some point so you're not dying. Yeah. Okay, babe. Love you. Oh, and just like that, she's gone. Well, guys, that concludes my epic escape from reality with my sister. We had a wonderful time at Dormy House last night, and the time before that the night before that we had a great time at the Seagrave Arms as well. So overall it's been an excellent trip. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and enjoyed coming along with me for the ride. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And until the next time, take care and ride safe.